When it comes to stick welding, there's many different stick electrodes to choose from. When you're making this decision, uh, there's a lot of information to know about each one of these rods. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to go over each of these rods. We're going to talk about amperage ranges as well as what application they are best used for. First, we'll start out with E6010. 6010 is a deep penetrating rod for carbon and galvanized steel. It is used for, with DCEP, so DC electrode positive. It is ideal for welding through light to medium, dirt, rust, um, and some paint. E6011 is a mild steel rod that is sometimes referred to as a farmer's rod. It is, has a strong arc force and creates deep penetration. It has a light slag that is pretty easy to remove. It can be ran on AC or DC electrode positive. It is excellent for rusty materials because it has such a strong arc force. Um, it'll just kind of dig through anything that it needs to. The next one we'll move on to is the E7014. E7014 is an all position rod. It has a very smooth arc with really good arc characteristics. It is also very easy to start and restart. This rod is a good beginner rod. It is also um, has a light to medium penetration, which is ideal for a thin sheet metal, ornamental working, um, ironwork, or pore fit up. The next rod we'll talk about is the E6013. E6013 is also an all position general purpose rod. It has a smooth arc deposit. It has a medium to a heavy slag, so it's pretty easy to remove. It can be ran on AC or DC, either polarity. It is excellent for poor fit up, small diameters, as well as thin sheet metal. So this is gonna be used on thinner diameter rods are going to be used for thinner sheet. The next rod we'll talk about is E7018. E7018 is a low hydrogen rod that runs in all positions and produces a, the highest quality X-ray weld. Low hydrogen um, provides the high strength without cracking. It, it can be welded on AC or DC in either polarity. It is excellent for welding hardened steels with little to no preheat. Um, as well as cold roll steels for um, excessive porosity when welding with a conventional rod. And the next electrode we're going to be talking about is the E7018 AC rod. This rod is also low hydrogen and has a lot of the same characteristics as our regular 7018. Um, the AC7018 is actually easier start. So when you're striking this rod, it starts a lot easier than a normal 7018. Also, this 7018 AC is not recommended for older machines um, from the 180 to 225 amp ranges. Um, but this one also has a heavy slag coating, so it comes off very easily and runs very smooth. The next rod we're going to talk about is this E7018-H4R. It is a more of a specialty 7018 rod. Um, this rod is mostly used for joining and repairing um, boiler plates, pipe steels, um, shipbuilding, and cast steels. It is excellent for weathering steels. It is extremely smooth uh, spatter and turbulence-free arc transfer. It is a good rod with AC welding characteristics, as well as an easy restrike. A little bit stronger and a little bit more versatile 7018 than what our car common 7018 is. The next set of electrodes we are going to talk about are our stainless steel specialty rods. The first one is a 308L-16. This rod is specifically made to join and build up stainless 301, 302, 303, 304, 304-L, 308, and 347. Um, it is made to join stainless to carbon steels, and it is recommended to apply corrosion and heat-resistant cladding to carbon steels. 
Our next stainless rod is E316L-16. It has a fast, smooth, corrosion-resistant weld with no spatter in all positions. Um, it is excellent with protection to the weld uh, deposit from the slag, uh, but that heavy deposit is easy to remove. It has a low carbon content. It is used to weld 302, 304, 308, and 316L. It is also used for fab and repair for low carbon steels. The next stainless rod we're going to talk about is our 312-16 stainless alloy easy all steel. This rod is the best electrode for most grades of steel, construction, and hardened steels. Um, it is a mineral coated rod and can be used by anyone. It's a very easy rod to use and it is the best for joining all types of steel together. It can be used on AC or DC. All right, the next rod we're going to talk about is our aluminum stick rod. It is E4043. It is used on DC only. This rod will join dissimilar grades of aluminum. It is a universal electrode for welding all cast, wrought, and extruded aluminum alloys with copper, silicone, and magnesium. This rod is a little harder to use on a stick welder um, and also requires a little bit higher amperage. Next, we're going to move on to two of our specialty rods. The first specialty rod we're going to talk about is our Super Nycast 55% Nickel for cast iron. It is excellent for welding all grades and thicknesses of 30-40-50 gray cast irons in all positions. Um, it also welds alloyed cast iron, engine blocks, diesel heads, differential and machine bases. Our next specialty rod is our Super Nycast 99% Nickel for cast iron. It is a soft machinable rod that has a non-conductive flux coating that will not arc on its side even after it's been heated. This rod has a unusually strong arc um, which drives the penetration through oil and grease easily. It is ideal for welding all grades of gray cast iron particularly thin sections and areas that require machining like automotive engine blocks, pump housings, and transmissions. It is used on DC reverse polarity.